Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to take an old NVMe hard drive or SSD, depending on which way you look at it, put it in an external enclosure and make it an external hard drive. So let's get started. Okay. So what we have here is an M2 NVMe SSD enclosure. M2 NVMe, it's the SHE C325 by SSK. This was just one that actually took my fancy because it's a nice metal look on it. You can't really see that there. Let me, there we go, so you can focus. So you'll be able to see it better on the overhead view. And this is for the old NVMe drive, however, initially I'm going to use it for a new NVMe drive as I'm going to port my windows over to that so I don't have to do a reinstall of it. So let me just get rid of the packaging just now. That's very nice, it feels nice. So we have some mounting hardware, we have a double sided sticky tape and some instructions. So instructions can go just now with the box. So that will be the mounting screws, little push up mounting hardware. Uh, and a screwdriver to fit and this one comes with a USB-A to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-C so if you've seen my video converting a hard drive to an external unit then this is very much the same thing okay it's pretty nondescript that looks like a, a light there to show you drive activity the brand and not much else on the bottom it just says external enclosure external enclosure and made in China. So I'll just slide this out and this is also just an NVMe bridge to micro USB, sorry to USB-C. Okay, I... on the other side it just appears to be a controller board and I don't really see, I don't really see anything special about it. So, to the best of my knowledge, all I should have to do, and I may need some of these, so I'll take them out just now. Just move the cables to the side for now. Is I'll need my NVMe drive. So here we have. If it will focus, a Crucial P2. It's a Crucial P2 NVMe M2 solid state drive and it's one gigabyte. So the current SSD that's in my machine is 256 gigabyte and that's just nowhere near enough. So I thought I'd quadruple the size. This one's also apparently a bit faster. So let me get a knife to open this. So this should be fairly simple, just like my previous one, when doing this with a hard drive. Let me just open my SSD. Put packaging down just now. Again, comes with a manual and the drive itself. That's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. So let's open that up. Nice blister pack. Take the drive itself. Pick up our external enclosure and line up the notch. Press it in, and this is where these little bits of hardware come in. I believe I just have to. Screw one of these down. These screws are tiny. Oh, they did at least magnetise the screwdriver. I didn't notice that. That would have made it a lot easier if I'd spotted that. So, onto the screw, press that down, line it up. Aha! And that's what those will be for. So, if I hold that there, I'll need to put one of these on the back. 
in here. Not quite sure what way it goes. So this is a wee bit fiddly to do. I'll try and keep it on cam. So I presume that I spin that round. Very fiddly to get in there. Is this magnetized? Nope, it's not. Okay. So press that on from the rear. Try and hold it in place. <laughs> and it fell. See, even professionals make mistakes like this. And hopefully that's some place enough for me to do this. Yep. I'm not sure whether to give you the second one, although it does appear to be a mount now. I mean, for all intents and purposes, that appears to be in and secure enough. One of those screws will obviously be to screw this back on, so... And it'll be that way. Will it? Doesn't think it really matters. So we can slide this back on. And then over here, place another one of the screws in there. I realise that screw's longer, so that may be meant to have been the one for inside. Never mind. There we go. And that's our SSD. Now let's plug in and see if it works. Okay, now that we've actually got it inside the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the my computer. Just bring this into my recording monitor. You can see that, and I'm going to plug the drive in. There we go, and I should get a drive F. There we go, drive F has appeared. And there's 145 meg free on it, which is why I had to get a new, a new drive in the first place. So let's just find, you see there's a Windows 10 install image on it there, so let's just delete that for now. And there we go, deleted, and I'll go into my downloads folder, and it will pick something random, like this thumbnail. Just right click, copy, move down to my F drive, right click and paste. It's asking me for permissions, so if I give it permissions, yep, yeah, and then I can double click and open it. And the file has been copied. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching.